he's as strong headed as I've, I've seen anyone in the past and that's the key to his success uh, is what I've seen in the last 12 months the way he has matured in test cricket and the areas that he's bowling so soon so quickly in his test career is I think a very scary sign for all the batsmen around the world I mean in test cricket if there's a pitch like Perth I wouldn't want to face just Preet Bumrah to be honest because once he's on a roll he can really crank it up and it's the way he bowls is so much more different to anyone and I, I think he realizes that more than the batsman and that's why he's so confident about his skill. Now we have the bowling attack that we can rely on to get us 20 wickets and his role becomes even more crucial because if he can bat time and hold one end and all the other batsmen can play positively around him, we get 350, um, you know, touching 400 in conditions in Australia, which puts us in a great position to get a result. So I think he, realiz he realizes that even more now that um, because of the bowling attack that we have, his job is to hold one end and bat for long hours so that we have a great opportunity to get big runs and put them in the game. And, and, it, and I think that confidence that uh, is, is seen in him is because of that. And uh, he's embracing that very well this year and the results are there, as I said. Last two. Yeah. It's a team effort at the end of the day. And uh, when it comes together nicely and it, it gets you results, it obviously feels wonderful uh, because that's what you play cricket for, right? You just don't play to play well, you play to win. Uh, so, yeah, it feels good to having had those results come our way. So we please pass the handheld mics around so we can capture your questions as well as the answers to because that would be great. Awesome. Yeah. Tim, don't you think that first team becomes uh, too important because in modern day cricket we hardly see it matter most? Oh, I think it's inexperience, it's um, it's pressure, it's India's bowling attack are as good as probably most of these guys have ever faced. So, um, you know, I think it's pretty clear if you take two or three of the best players out of anyone's lineup around the world, you're going to struggle a little bit at times and you're going to have inconsistent performances and that's what we're seeing. I thought in Perth, on a really tough wicket, our top six dug in and, and had a real crack. Um, in this game, no doubt, we're, we're a little bit disappointing, but um, that's going to happen from time to time. We've just got to try and make sure that we're improving and, um, and making sure that our, our good and our bad is a little bit closer together than what it's been in the last couple of test matches. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty common that you see that when you've got inexperienced players playing in your top six against high-quality bowling. Yeah. <laughs>